Hi, I'm Rich from Low Tech, and this is the Low Tech section in the Tip Plus booth at Interbike here in Vegas 2012. Basically, we redid all of our shoes on uh, vulcanized bottoms here, completely redesigned. Uh, same tread pattern we used last time around, solid heel for braking surface. These ones are actually all uh, no animal products used as well for, for people that are looking for something a little more environmentally conscious. And then on the insides, we did a, uh, it's a dual density molded insole here. You can see from the side. Um, it's just, you know, it's a hard polyurethane here, softer EVA here, and then again, harder in the forefoot where you need it. So all, every model comes with that now across the board. This, this one here is the updated Mike Aitken Nightwolf um, in these two colors. And then this one here is the updated Fader, which is the Craig Passero signature model. Let's see the bottoms. This is the other color. Also, all, the, all of the shoes now come with uh, either cable laces, uh, waxed or waxed flat laces as well, just to give a little bit different style choice. And then right here we have, this is the update of the Hodu shoe. It's a slim down version, vulcanized sole. Again, thick on the bottom, but just slim on the top. Uh, it's, this one's going to be called the BTM. And then we've got two colors in that, the, the green all canvas and the black wax suede. Last but not least, we, we, this is the prototype for the Garrett Reeves signature shoe, the Reeves. And we're kind of going for a bit of a mid-top kids kind of feel, make it as simple as we possibly could. And it's just all gum bottom, you know, all canvas upper. And then, uh, last but not least, we have just a blue, a blue edition of it with a little bit of wax suede accents. And uh, also these new hats up here. Yes. The inside. These are all custom made by the people that made the starter hats in the 80s, so they have the, the exact fit from the original ones. And uh, you know, we got the logo taping on the inside and whatnot. It's nice and simple. And I'm here in the Primo section of the Tip Plus booth at Interbike 2012, and I'm going to show you a few of the new products that Primo has to offer. Um, this here is our new wheel set. We're doing a limited edition colorway with the sectioned off spokes and sort of the, the reggae style here. It's got our, this is our new VS rim, remix home. And then um, the our hubs actually now also have female conversion kits that you can run on them. So the hub can be and or fe uh, female. And then the front one, comes with our M4 FL flangeless hub, which has, comes with the PVC guards on it and the female bolt system. So, pretty dial, ready for grinding, ready to slap it on. Then, next up from that, we got signature sprocket here for Bobby Simmons. Uh, Bobby rides for Colt, obviously, and he wanted a spline drive sprocket that could run with his Colt crank, so. We're doing this in 19 millimeter spine drive as well as 22 millimeter spine drive, and then also um, in tr the traditional sizing for you know for people that run well whatever size cranks they'd like. And then from there we actually we have a new line of hats. We did these five new snapback caps. Pretty straightforward, we had them all cut and sewn, custom made. Yeah. Welcome to Interbike 2012, you're at the SM booth. I got in my hands here a Hucker signature frame coming out. It's gonna be the Shaka uh, for the brand new number one rider, dirt jumper, Hucker. Similar to the ATF, 13.3 rear end, 8.8 .8 uh, standover height, 11.7 bottom bracket height. Um, your standard kind of heavy duty all around destroyer frame. Nice, super thick rear end, uh, brand new oversized bullet tip dropouts, thick 5mm dropouts, nice and heat treated. Available in a couple months, man, definitely check this out. Got the new Enduro stem coming out, your brand new 30mm rise stem. Everyone's all looking for your higher, you know, put your bars up, higher rise stems. 
Um, this is what's coming out for S&M. We've got three sizes. Your 50, uh, 52, 55, and 49 mil reaches. These will be out in another month. Definitely check these out. Got a new couple colors coming out for the BTM. Um, this is going to be the dank green color. We also have your trans teal up there. Um, new colors, new stickers for Hoder's BTM. Now we're looking at fit stuff, man. Um, we got the new reflective uh, FAF tires coming out. They'll be available come probably February, come the new year. Classic FAF tire available in the new reflective wall for your nighttime riding. Won't get hit out there by your cars. New smoke chrome coming out in all the fit colorways. We'll have the Wi Fi, um, the both forks, the blade, and the shiv will be available, as well as the Benny L frame and a couple handlebars. Hello, I'm John Bulgens, the new Harold BMX brand manager. This year we've come out with the 30th anniversary of the Harold Freestyler. Over here we have the original Freestyler. This is first generation 1982. What we tried to do was release an exact replica of what we created, well, what Bob created back in 82. There's the limited edition 300 frames, 10 for each year of Harold. It should be available October 2010. Okay guys, another item we have for 2013 is the Dennis Anderson SD2. This frame has basically been fully double butted tubing, CNC bottom brackets. This is a new design for the, the SD2. Uh, should be available in store just before Christmas.